Hey there! It's me, Lady Ada, at my desk. Um, today I'm going to do a quick little video to talk about the new Arduino Uno. A lot of people have been asking us questions about um, how, you know, is the Uno better than the Duomi Lenovo and should they upgrade and what are the differences. So I wrote a fact and I'm going to do a quick video overview of the different Arduinos and what's new in the Uno. So here is the first Arduino that was really popularized and manufactured and it's the Arduino NG. Um, and these Arduinos came with an Atmega 8, which had 8 kilobytes of flash memory. Um, they had a USB chip here and a jumper for selecting whether you wanted USB or DC power. Um, and this was pretty popular for a few years. And then they upgraded to the Arduino Diachimila. And the Diachimila um, upgraded the chip from an 8K chip to a 16K chip, so basically doubling the amount of memory for sketches. Um, they still used the same USB chip, and they still had this jumper. Um, they did, however, add these two um, pins here, the reset and 3-volt um, pins, so you could reset the Arduino from a shield and also providing another power supply to possible shields. Um, then, about a year ago, they came out with the Arduino Duemila Nove, that's the uh, 2009 version, and this came with an Atmega 328 chip, so it's a 32K chip, so four times as large as the NG and twice as large as the Diachimila, and sometimes they also had Atmega 328 written on the bottom instead of on the chip. And these used um, the same... FTDI chip for USB, uh, except they got rid of the jumper. Instead of having a mechanical switch, there's now a, an electronic switch that switches between DC or USB, whichever one has power. Um, there's still that new little header and uh, crystal and button and everything else. So this was very similar to the DHMila, except there was no uh, jumper necessary to switch power. And now the Uno, which is the latest version, has the same header set up. Um, has that electronic switch between USB and DC power, um, except now the USB chip is not the FTDI, but another Atmega. This is uh, an Atmega 8U2. It's a USB chip, and it converts the USB to serial. So it basically does the same job as the FTDI, but it's a little bit less expensive and a little more flexible. So the good news is if you have shields, um, especially ones that you've owned for a while. They'll work on anything from the Jamila up to the Uno. There's nothing in the Uno that's changed that won't make your shields work. In fact, it'll probably work even better with most shields because the power supply is a little better. Um, so that's good news. Another question is whether sketches that were written for the Diachimila or Duomila Nove will run on the Uno. The answer is absolutely. They should run just fine. Um, when you use the Uno, you will want to use the latest version of the IDE version 21, which is the latest as of this video, um, and that one supports the Uno. Now, the Uno has a faster bootloader. It's twice as fast for uploading, so you can get going in maybe 3 to 5 seconds instead of 10 to 20 seconds, which is fantastic for um, quick development and debugging. So um, the important part about this new chip, um, for beginners, again, you don't have to worry about it. It basically does the same job as the FTDI chip, but uh, it is actually a microcontroller, and you can reprogram it. So for advanced users, uh, there's a reprogramming header here, so you can reprogram this chip to, say, act like a keyboard instead of just a serial port, or maybe a mouse or it can act like a MIDI device, or look like a disk drive, or any other kind of USB device. So the chip that's used in the Uno is the same as a Duomila Nove. It's a 328 chip. I don't know if it's written on here anywhere, but if you look closely, you can see it. But um, they did increase the amount of size available for uh, sketches by reducing the size of the bootloader. The bootloader is now a quarter of the size, which means you get an extra kilobyte and a half of flash space. So that's about 10% more uh, than the Duomila Nove. Um, so we have the Uno in stock, and we're shipping all of our starter packs with the Uno instead of the Duomila Nove. I think for people who want to experiment with the new USB interface and maybe make it look like a keyboard or a mouse, then definitely the Uno is like the right Arduino for you. If you bought a DHMila Duomila Nove and you need a little bit more flash space, um, that extra K and a half in the Uno might also be good. Um, it is a slight upgrade, uh, not a big one, but definitely a step forward for the Arduino team. So uh, we definitely like the way it's going. We think it's becoming more powerful um, and also faster and better. So uh, definitely check out the Uno. Check out our FAQ where we answer a lot of questions and uh, pick up a starter pack.
Yeah, does that come with anything special when it comes from Adafruit? Oh yeah, um, <laughs> uh, in the boxes we slip in um, four bumpers and uh, we use those so you can put them on the bottom of our, your Arduino um, in these four spots. Uh, and that protects it from touching your table or desk and getting um, damaged or, you know, if you have wire on your desk from damaging um, the Arduino or scratching your desk up. All right. Okay. Say goodbye. Okay. There's a cat. <laughs>